Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make quinoa stir fry. So here we're going to start off with one cup of cooked quinoa and this obviously it swells up to become about a cup and a half. From a seasoning of the half, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon thyme, one tablespoon grated ginger, a piece of uh, scotch bonnet pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. For the ginger you could also chop it up or slice it, whatever you prefer. The scotch bonnet is optional but I like my food really spicy. Okay here we got a half cup of chopped sweet peppers. They came frozen so I just chopped them up. We got one chopped onion we got a coconut aminos. This is basically just like soy sauce, but it hasn't got any soy in there. And as you can see, it's organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan as well. And grapeseed oil as well. So now that I've got all my ingredients, let's start. Okay, so my oil is hot, and I'm gonna add the peppers and the onions. Give that a stir. I mean, my heat is on medium to high, just to give it a good sizzle, give it a good stir. It is stir fry also. Okay, and I'll add my seasoning, which is my pepper, my thyme, ginger, and salt. Just give it a good stir to get everything in. I mean, the smells that are coming from it already is amazing. You know, for the onions, you're more than welcome to use spring onion or yellow onion. Just anything to give it that onion flavor. Now let that fry for a little bit. I added about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. To this to fry everything so I'm gonna add my quinoa for the quinoa I cooked um, overnight and stored in the fridge so just to get that nice fried flavor you know what I'm talking about okay so I'll just continue stir frying that making sure everything is incorporated And after everything is incorporated, I'll just add some coconut amino. I mean, this just finishes it off, give it a nice flavor. Instead of using soy sauce, which as you know, soy is not good for you. Just to give it a nice fried flavor. Okay, I'll be adding my coconut amino. I'd say about five tablespoons. You hear that sizzle? And then just continue frying this for five minutes or so. And then you can you can serve. And here we are, this is the finished quinoa. I'd say serve about two people. 
unless they're really greedy can finish it off but yeah how beautiful and colorful it is it smells gorgeous as well enjoy